Hey everybody, it's Audrey from Mom Generation. So it is the weekend, but this weekend is very special because it is St. Patrick's Day weekend. And since I am Irish and my husband is Irish and our kids are Irish, I really have wanted to just have really traditional type recipes and crafts and things that we can do for the weekend, especially too since it is the weekend and we have time to do that. So today I wanted to show you how easy, and the, like the key word is easy, it is to create a corned beef cabbage dinner that you can have at home. You know, with four kids now, it does become a little bit more difficult to go out to a restaurant. You know how busy they are, especially on St. Patrick's Day, to get these traditional Irish meals. So my husband and I thought it'd be fun to cook at home for the boys. Now, I have said it before on my blog, and I'm going to say it again, I am not a domestic diva. It is something that I love to do. I love to be in the kitchen. Um, I don't have that much time for it, and I'm just not that naturally good at it. So when I do find recipes, I like them to be quick, easy, and very practical, and very delicious as well. So I wanted to show you how I am prepping a meal for tomorrow for my family for St. Patrick's Day with my crock pot. Super easy. So first of all, what I have in front of me, now my husband and I have prepped everything ahead of time. So we love, with our corned beef dinner, we love the potatoes, carrots, and cabbage. Again, very traditional. So this is how we do it. So I have red potatoes right here, smaller ones. I'm going to pop them right in the crock pot. They have been washed. Carrots, which we love too. And we've taken one onion and we've just quartered it. I'm going to pop that right in too. And then you have the corned beef. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the corned beef in on top of, first of all, because you always got to prep whenever you're doing anything in the crock pot, and I know this because I have made this mistake before, you have to put some sort of liquid in with it. So right here, I have two cups of water, so I'm just going to pour this right in. And then with the corned beef, it always comes right in the package with just a seasoning packet. So I have some seasoning right here, that I'm also just going to put, I'm going to put half of them in, and then I'm going to put the corned beef in. So the seasonings are right beneath the corned beef. I'm going to slide that right in, and then I'm going to put the rest of them right on top. Now you see the cabbage in front of me as well. I'm going to add that later. I'm not going to add that right now. And that's it. I mean, that's all I have to do. That was what, like not even a minute? Pop the top right on. I'm going to plug it in, and I'm literally going to let it sit for about eight hours today. And I'm going to do that, okay? So we're going to check back later, but this is this is step one of creating my easy corned beef dinner for my family. Hey, so I wanted to update. The corned beef has been in the crock pot for about six hours on low, and it was time to add the cabbage, which is another main ingredient. So we just, take this off very quickly, just put the uh, cabbage into some wedges, cut them up, and I just put them right on top. And I'm going to let this stay in the crock pot for another two and a half, three hours, again, still on low. I'm gonna put the top right back on and we will check back in about two and a half or three hours. Hey everybody, so it's the final step of our corned beef dinner that we've been making all day. The corned beef is done. We took it out of the crock pot where actually the potatoes, the cabbage, and the carrots are still inside it, getting even like extra juicy. But what I ended up doing with my husband was we put the corned beef on a cutting board, we let it sit just to lock the juices in. And now we've just we've started to cut it into some some smaller sections or about maybe like a quarter of an inch thick. And uh, my husband's actually already done half of it, and I am going to start doing the other half just to show you how. I mean, it literally is just like coming right off. It it smells incredible. I know that we don't have like smell of vision, but it smells incredible. It's super easy just to cut right through. It just looks so delicious. And you know what? The color too is that traditional corned beef, like that really deep, beautiful pink. And we're excited to plate this, put some potatoes, carrots, and cabbage down on a plate as well. I add a little bit of mustard and just enjoy truly the night before St. Patrick's Day, but we're going to have so much left over. There's going to be sandwiches that can be made tomorrow. My husband's going to make, um, a, uh, I guess it's called corned beef and potato hash. So it's I guess corned beef hash. And uh, we even can have a few extra dinners for tomorrow, too, for us and the boys. Rubens for lunch. And Rubens. I forget about that. So, you know, we, we made a ton, so we're going to eat it all up and enjoy St. Patrick's Day. So I'm off to keep cutting. I actually keep putting bites of corned beef in my mouth because it's so good, but I have plated my meal. I have my potatoes, my carrots, my cabbage, my corned beef, and I am ready. To, I have my spicy mustard, too. And I'm going to sit down with my husband and enjoy, uh, I guess, a Saturday night, pre-St. Patrick's Day, delicious traditional corned beef and cabbage dinner.